Hello everybody, here we are once again with John Collins from Safe and City College, Birmingham. And a quick two minute talk in conjunction with QTEC Instruments about the need to make sure you're using quality test leads. Now, you might as well have that out there a really good instrument, giving you fantastic results, but all being calibrated, but it wouldn't really mean anything if the leads themselves were faulty. So when you go out there and start using your tester, you must make sure you do a good inspection and make sure the test leads themselves are fit for purpose. And by that I mean checking to make sure there's no damage. If you're looking at the QTEC, what they call the G7 leads, which go through seven different stages of testing to make sure they do a rotation check there, which is really common on site where they come damaged and loose. This has got a flexible housing there supporting the cable. These are also tested for wide range of air temperature extremities there from really, really cold to really, really hot. The probes themselves, checking for GS38, the tips two to four mil, you've got your finger guard, color coded, and the crocodile clips, as you can see here, there is no exposed metal work. And it doesn't really matter which way you connect them around, whether you go bottom to bottom or top to top, these will still give you the same contact resistance, thus making sure that your nodding is okay. Here we've got some examples of leads that do not really comply to GS38. As you can see, it's more than the four mil exposed tip. Some of them have been supported with the use of tape where they go stiff and they become damaged, or even worse, where the flex becomes damaged and broken, exposing the conductors inside. So what we're saying, folks, is that when you're out on site, you need to be really careful making sure your instrument is fit for purpose, but also making sure your leads and your crocodile clips and probes are just as important. And that's true when you send away for calibration. And there you have it. A short two-minute talk. Remember, folks, Johnny Ace is on the case.